Good morning to our learners. Our topic for today is about technology past and present or also known as the evolution of technology. So before we start, I want to discuss to you the ages of technology or the eras of technology. So this is the timeline of technology. It started in agricultural era, which is divided into three ages, which is the stone, bronze, and iron age. In this uh, era, agricultural age, people are busy doing simple tools to survive. So simple tools that is made up of stone, bronze, and iron. The next era to agricultural is called the industrial era. And then next is the information. And then the present age we have now is communication era. So this is the ages that we will discuss this morning. So let's start first with the first age of agricultural era, which started about 3500 BC. Human traveled in small nomadic group. So people before are traveling in a small group of people. So usually why they travel, why they migrate, because they want to find food. They want to find good shelter for their families or for their uh, clan. So what they do, so they invented, they try to do tools to survive for their living. And most of the tools that is made before is made up of stone. That's why they call this age as stone age. They master to do the fire. So before uh, they do fire, when they want to make fire, they do it with stone. At the same time, in this era, they started to grind corn. Why they grind the corn because before people didn't know how to plant rice yet so the first uh, crop root uh, the first crop that people are eating is corn so what they do before they grind the cor the corn and then that is their uh food in their everyday life so as years pass people started to uh invent more things that is made up of stone like knife out of stone a weapon out of stone and then bed out of stone everything okay if you know flintstone uh that is an example of cartoons that is uh illustrating stone age i will show you maybe you didn't know what is a uh, flintstone because flintstone is a Cartoons that is way way back before Okay, so This is the Flintstone, okay This cartoon actually is uh, illustrating how people live in Stone Age. Okay, so they use weapons, their house is made up of stone, their bed is made up of stone, everything is made up of stone because they live in Stone Age. Now, next. Uh, the next age is the Bronze Age. So it started uh, about 3,500 BC to 1,000 BC. Plants uh, started to uh, planted by the farmers. So they discovered that some seeds is for planting for food. Because of course, all plants have seeds and so, but not all plants are for eating. So they discovered that some seed is for animals and some seed is for humans. So when you plant that seed, you can produce food out of that. But I will repeat, not all plants is for human. Some plants is for 
animal consumption. So like the grass. Grass is not meant for human. That is meant for cows and other herbivore animals. At the same time, in this age, they started to uh, do fabric. They started to weave a fabric before. And the next soft metals were hammered. And then they started to heat it and molded the metal. So in this era, they started to make sword out of metal, which is bronze. Another is irrigation system were developed. So the water system in this time is developed. Because in Stone Age, if you compare Stone Age to Bronze Age, people are just fetching water in rivers, ponds, and a lake. But in this era, water is powered by irrigation system. So there were some devices that delivers your water in your places. At the same time, in this era, carts and wheels started to appear. So they started to use wheels to transport goods and items. The next age is called the Iron Age. It started 1000 to 500 BC. With better furnaces, smelts iron are developed. So in this era, since people knows how to make fire, they started to melt iron and make some pots, glasses, plates, and anything that they can use at home. So they try to melt the iron and then cast it and then they try to form it as their pots and then in anything that they can use in their kitchen like knife out of iron or weapons out of iron or any hunting devices that is made up of iron. At the same time, they also created a plow out of iron. Remember that plow is a uh, use for planting. Farmers are using flows to uh, plant rice and other root crops. And then they started to do a building technique. So in this time, they started to use iron to make buildings, to make houses, to make uh, other establishments. At the same time, they started to create boats. And then the road system started to appear. Because before, people are traveling in desert, forest, without roads. So they just uh, walk in any places where they lead to. But in this time, roads started to form. So they... Uh, constructed a road so that they could travel. Remember that wheels is invented ahead of this age. So with the road and then the wheels, it's easy to travel. And next age is called industrial age. New machines and sources of power were developed. So in this time, machines are invented to make the people uh, life easy. Countries change from rural to urban. So from provinces or from remote area of places, they started to build a city. Textile industry was born. What does it mean? They started to build a factory for fabric. The next is new transportation and communication started to uh, Establish. So the train system, the automobile or car started to use in this era. The same time labor union were born. What does it mean? Labor union meaning people started to work in factories, people started to work in uh, small companies. Because in previous ages, people are doing farming. They plant seeds and then they're waiting until they harvest the fruits, the plants that they farm. But in this 
age, people started to work in the factories. Because remember, people are in the city now. They are not living in villages anymore. They are living in the city. So, when they are in the city, the land is limited. There is no farm. So, that's why they started to work in factories and small companies. Now, the next age is the information age. So, it started in 1990s to uh, late 1990s until uh, late 1990s. So, plastic is developed here. Computer is developed here. Transistor is invented here. Transistor is like the electricity. So, they uh, use electricity in many devices. At the same time, people started to travel using aeroplane uh, and then uh, people started to migrate in other places and then uh, information access and exchange become easier because we have the telephone here the internet mobile devices so it's easy to communicate in this age compared to early ages and then now we have our present age, which is which is we call the communication age. So we have here the instant mobile communication. So we have here the wireless phone. We have here also the the touch screen phone. That what I mean the touch screen phone is like your iPhone, your Samsung phone, your Huawei. So the brand that has touch screen phone started to emerge here. At the same time, now, people are sending messages through email, through mobile phone, and then we started to use video phone. So, when we want to call a person, we could see now their faces or their places. And then, people start to do blogging, they do instant messages, and then they use internet phones. Okay, so this is uh, the way people communicate nowadays like how you do your video uh, recording like uh, how do you attend your video uh, recorded class or virtual classes this is the communication age and then how you play your games in your tablet that is included in this communication age now I have a simple homework for you so you will do your own PowerPoint presentation of technology. You could submit this homework in next week. So take your time. You still have your weekend and then next week. So make a short PowerPoint presentation of technology. Any technology that helps you to live your life easy. So it's up to you. You could use your uh, internet or your devices. To search for this homework and then send it to me uh, in Classera or in WhatsApp. Thank you girls. I hope you learned a lot today and then uh, see you again on my next video.